So no, we don't have a problem with black culture. We got a problem with black people. We hate every, every black person that we should love. We loathe every black person we should like. We reject and denounce every black person that we should support. And we attack any and every black person for any and every other reason. We have a self-hatred issue. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. Whoa now, whoa now, whoa now. Welcome back to the Black Elf. I'm your boy, Brother Kush. I'm telling you, man, y'all gonna have to start respecting my gangster, bro. You know, not even a good 24 hours after I put that video up where I have the interconnectivity of, of black people on the cover, that little red, yellow, and green graphic, right? You know, not even a good 40, I mean, 24 hours after I put that video up, I get some clown named Merrick Buford come at me sideways, cursing me out, talking about I sound dumb as fuck. I mean, all this behind talking about, and I don't know where he get this from. He talking about indigenous blacks were enslaved and mixed with Africans, and now we are one people. Stop the bullshit, you know. First of all, I have no idea where he heard of that. And I told y'all, man, they are constantly changing these narratives because they got to stay ahead of it. They got to stay ahead of it. The goal is to make all us slaves because as you think you are, you will be. If you believe that you are a slave, you will start to act like one. And the goal of this system is to make sure they box all of us into that mind frame by controlling the narrative of our history. And our greatest enemies in this regard, in, in, in the maintaining of those false narratives, are black people. I told y'all on several videos, man, that it is us. We are the problem. We are the problem. And that's what I want to talk about on this video, man. You know, so before I get started, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to receive notifications when I drop more videos. Y'all need to stop being scared of this. Y'all need to stop being scared of it, bro. Look, man, I mean, look, I, you, you do you, do your own life, man, but y'all need to be open to hearing different perspectives and understandings, man, you know what I'm saying, I, I get tired of saying that, man, so anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump right into it, man, you know what I'm saying, Um, y'all see the information on the screen, we gonna get right into this here, bro, we gonna get right into it, but like the video, thumb up the video, thumb down the video, and if you don't want to actually thumb up or thumb down it, thumb up or down it right there, go into the comment section and hit it and leave an emoji thumb up or emoji thumb down or just an emoji smiley face, emoji fireball, however you feel. That's why it's called emojis, right? However you feel, just leave it in the comment. Interact with the channel so that it can help trigger the algorithm. That's all I ask you to do. Let me get right into it, man. So Thomas Sowell with his coon ass. And the man talks like a coon. I have no idea why y'all think this man is something, bro. I know why the white folks like him. I know why conservative, conservative coon black folks like him. But why do you dudes think so highly of this man? This man is not a scholar. He is a coon. He is a coon. Everything he says, he says within a certain structure. A certain paradigm. A, a certain narrative. Not paradigm. Narrative. Everything he says, it has to stay within a certain narrative, man. I mean, come on, man. Y'all y'all, y'all gonna start hearing what I'm saying. This man is a coon. So he has this viral video going around. It's kind of old, too, where he's talking about the problems with black culture. You know what I'm saying? And he said the problem with black people is our current culture. But the truth is, our current culture is the same that it's always been. Our culture is not violence. Our culture is not crime. The criminal makes up less than 1% of our population. Our culture is our art. Our culture is our, is our inventions that we, that we contributed to mankind. Our culture is our long original man history, our long indigenous history that, that, that white folks do so much to try to sweep under the rug. This is our culture. 
Our culture is being destroyed by men like Tom and Sowell because what he wants us to do is be more like white folks, the people that have no culture, the people that steals everything, that co-ops everything. His goal in life is to make us be more like them people. And that is not what we want to be. Our uniqueness is in us. The way we create dances, the way we create music, our uniqueness is in us. We don't need to be like nobody else. This is our culture. But he wants to make our culture the few people that do negative things. You know, he wants to make our culture gang banging. I've never been in a gang in my life, man. And yeah, okay, I'm from New Orleans. We don't have gangs. But even if we did, I wouldn't have been in no gang. I don't have a gang mentality. I'm too much of a solo dude. Well, you don't know what you'd have did if you'd have grew up in the environment. I know what the hell I would have did. And part of the reason why New Orleans is the kind of city it is that don't have gangs is because dudes down there do their own thing. I just come from a soldier town. You know what I'm saying? Men be men. Men stand on their own. You know what I'm saying? We... We are the kind of dudes that would attack a whole bunch of dudes on our own. Like, one of us would go to war with several dudes. That, that's just how we are in New Orleans. You know, we bought it, bro. So, I mean, I don't, I've don't. never been in a gang in my life. Now, I've had a lot of gang friends, especially when I was running up on the East Coast, up where the Midwest, up down Shy town you know. I had a lot of gang member friends, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, even them dudes, man, they didn't really, you know, they did their thing. They wore their colors and everything. I mean, sometimes, you know, I got bandanas, you know. Bandana is a bandana for me. I like bandanas, so sometimes dudes mistake my bandanas for a flag, but it's a bandana, bro. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, you know, I understand the gang culture, but even the dudes that I met that were in gangs, them dudes really just wasn't tripping all the time behind no gang stuff. You know what I'm saying? I mean, them dudes get along with each other, man. But anyway, he wants to make our culture stuff like that. Gangs is not our culture. Most black Americans have never been in a gang. Talk to them. Most black Americans have never been in a gang. Most. Even places like where, where, where gangs are prevalent, like Chi-Town in California, the percentage of people that actually run with gangs are still small. Officially, right? <clears throat> the estimated number from the Department of Justice that they have, that we have about a million gang members throughout the United States. That's it. One million in a country of 300 some odd million. And yes, Asians have gangs. White folks have gangs. So all these gangs, Latinos have gangs and Mexicans have gangs. You know what I'm saying? So all of these gangs are not even black gangs. Now I want you to understand this. The, the number of gang members that we, we estimate the number of black gang members to be about 300, 400,000. That will be about 0.5% of our population. That is all. That is all. Now, in what world, that's not even a whole number, people. That's not even 1%. That's 0.5. That's a half of a percent. In what world would that be considered the, the guiding forces of a whole culture, of a people? You see, Thomas Sowell is the problem. Our problem is not black culture. Our problem is black people. Our problem is people like Thomas Sowell. Our problem is people like Merrick. Uh, 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 Buford, the dude that attacked me on my on my page for no damn reason, or that other brother I can't think of his name right now that that came at me sideways a couple of months ago, you know, for no reason, or the the educated sister, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if she still comes on the page, but you know, she she asked me why I have a problem with pro blacks and all this stuff. I don't have a problem with pro blacks, but as I explained to her back then, let me say something that pro blacks don't like about my people that's positive. And they're going to get mad at me. If I tell my people that no, we did not come here as slaves, that we were already here, that's something positive, right or wrong. Just talk to me now. Is that not something that's positive? But if I say something that's positive about my people that goes outside of the control, hegemonic, educational system of the white man, our blacks will get mad at me. Our pro-blacks will get mad at me. They are only there to maintain the status quo of the system. They are not there to help you. Dr. Umar Johnson is not there to help you. Boyce Watkins. Remember now, I mentioned these names, but it's not just them. I'm talking about their kind. Remember that. These are just more, you know, n um, these are just more popular figures. But I'm talking about their kind, not just 
them. You know, Boyce Watkins, Dr. Claude Anderson, they, they are not your friends. They, they exist to maintain the status quo. Understand that. This is what they do. So, so the problem I have is that men like Thomas Sowell, he comes out talking about the problem is black culture, but what is black culture, Thomas? So you're going to disregard music. James Brown, Prince, uh, uh, Michael Jackson, the, 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 the Supremes, you, you know, the, all the Motown stuff. You're going to just disregard all of that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to disregard our artists. That gets no recognition. You're going to disregard our medical advancements. That get no recognition. You're going to disregard all of the inventions that we've brought forth. That gets no recognition. The cell phone that most of y'all are watching me on right now, black man. The computer that most of y'all are looking at me on, black man. So you're going to disregard all of the high mathematics that we did before anybody else was on the planet. Just disregard all of that. And you're going to make our culture based on the doings of less than 0.5% of our people. That is the problem. That is the problem. And even worse, even our educated class of Negroes, the, the managerial class. Now, they are a bigger demographic because a lot, lot of blacks go to college, more than you think. They probably represent about a good 20% of us. And they are a problem because that's a lot of niggas that you got to fight with every time you try to change or, or, or correct the narrative of something. Because, see, the problem is too many of us worship white, white folks. That's the problem. We worship white folks. They are our gods. And anything they say, we say, okay. And anything we say, we say, no way. That's how it is. That's how it is. White man teach him Africana studies in college. Okay. Black man tell him, nah, I don't believe that stuff, man. That stuff ain't real. No way. It's real. That's where we from. We African. Okay, but look, I don't even care. You know what I'm saying? This is this, this the whole point um, of the comment, the response to that comment I left to the dude. I don't even care, but if you believe that your family uh, you know, came here as African slaves, I don't even care. The question I keep having to ask y'all over and over again is why in the hell do y'all get mad at us who say that our families didn't come like that? Why, why is such visceral towards those of us that say that's not how we came about and that there were actually millions, tens of millions, maybe hundreds of millions of black people already over here in the Americas and West Indies when the European arrived? Why does that anger you so much? And the information is actually out there. It's out there. I heard one of these such coon ass niggas, right? He was listening to, um, he was on uh, um, Legendary Top Cats. A live stream one day, right? Shout out to legendary, legendary Top Cats, and I, I assume the dude from New Orleans. And it's so, it's so shameful, man, because New Orleans is one of the only places over here in in this part of the Americas where the blacks still hold on to their indigenous culture. And it's sad to hear blacks from New Orleans trying to discredit that culture. And this nigga actually said to discredit it to prove that. There were no black Indians and that the black Indians down there now are fake. He said, well, you, you know that hair on their head is wigs. And I was like, now, now, first of all, do understand this. Most black men don't grow long hair like that no more. We can't walk around with super long hair like that no more because it is socially not a, 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 a acceptable. But this was another attack on our in uh, on our identity this was another attack on our culture our heritage they changed us they want you to believe that we only have these afros yes the hair starts off in the afro but if you train your hair your hair will grow down y'all just don't train your hair no more man we've lost that understanding of how to change the texture of hair but we understood that at one time Long flowy hair, we all had it at one time. So how in the hell can you get your dumb ass up there and say that that's wigs as if a nigga can't grow hair? I mean, it's the it's the silliness, bro. It's the silliness. He talked like we just don't grow hair out of our scalp. Like everybody bald head like Brother Kush, you know what I'm saying? 
I'm bald now, but I once had hair, bruh. And I had long hair. You know, I once had hair. My hair was curly. I had long hair. I had a nice grade of hair, actually. In fact, if my if I still had my hair on my head the way it was, the grade of hair that I had, and I let it hang down, it would look like I'm, I mean, this is why people thought I was Hispanic or something when I was growing up. People always ask me where I was from. Because of my features, man, I was, you know, I was a little pretty boy. I'm ugly now. You know, I always say I'm ugly now, but I wasn't always this ugly. You know what I'm saying? I used to look good at one time in my glory days. You know what I'm saying? But the point is, y'all, for a dude to sit there and say, you know, that's wigs on the head, as if we can't grow hair. Come on, man. Nigga, we, our hair don't stop at a fade, dumbass nigga. We're not born with fades, bro. Man, some of you dudes are dumb, bro. So, no, our problem with, it's not black culture. Our culture is rich. Our culture is why everybody wants to be us. Our culture is what you see, the flavor, you know what I'm saying? The way we switch up things, the way we, the way we are creative with dress styles. But our culture has always been under attack by our own. It is our own that are pushing the, 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 the move to get us to cut our hair, to dress certain ways, to look certain ways, the high value man. I mean, all of this is a tax on you, black man, on you, black woman. How you dress is not good unless you dress like, 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 like an African garb or like a European. You can't take modern times and come up with your own fashion and styles on your own. You're not allowed to do that. You got to dress like a white person or an African. That's the only thing that's allowed. You got to dress like a white person or an African. They are all the brothers. They, they, you got black people pushing to have black men cut their hair. You got all these black fathers don't want their sons to grow their hair. They think that that's teaching them to be good. I don't want my son to be a thug. How the hell the hair going to make him a thug? It's goddamn hair on his head, man. God. Damn, bro. This is the problem with us. This is the problem with us. We are our own worst enemy. That's the problem with black people. Now you think about that. You think about that. Look, man, I'm out of here. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to receive notification. Remember, if you don't want to hit the like up or like down on the little thing, the little thumb up thing, Go to the comment section and drop a thumb up, a thumb down, or a fireball, or a smiley face, or throw up face. You know, however you feel. That's why it's called emoji. Drop it in the comment section, man, to help trigger the algorithm. But do you agree with my comment? First of all, I don't say nothing that you should disagree with. That's what has always made Kush unique, bro. I don't argue from idealistic from points of views. I'm not an ideologue. So when I, when I talk, I'm just talking based on common sense facts. Just common sense type stuff, man. Real straightforward stuff. I don't really say stuff that you should disagree with. You either understand it or you don't. But there's no need to disagree with it. If I tell you that we are global people and that we were all over the planet before anybody else, that we were already in the Western Hemisphere, what is there to disagree with? I'm away. Better yet, why should that make you mad? I'm going to wait. What did I say that offends anybody so much that they want to get mad at me? Why would that anger you? Why would you think that's disrespecting you? And why would you disagree with it when, when they got nothing but evidence to prove it? In fact, it's, it's a foregone, it's already proven, bro. If you don't know by now that we were all already over here in the Western Hemisphere in the Americas and West Indies, you just don't want to know. And that's on you. And if you want to stay living in darkness, again, that's all on you. You do you and let brothers and sisters like me do us. How about having some at least, uh, at, how about having at least some decent respect for each other? We don't have a problem with our culture. We have a problem with niggas. I'm out of here. Brother Kush, salam.